Kevin Mattel, and today we are drinking Anka Bruins Christmas Sale 2016. They have been brewing a new one of these every year since 1975, the year I got out of high school. So I've been out of high school for 41 years now, because this is 2016. Every year is a different recipe, um, and we look forward to it every year. Beer Geeks go nuts for it, we go crazy for it. Sometimes we even compare, we, uh, we think that 2010 was better than this year. We do things like that. And the other thing that's unique is they put a new tree on the bottle every year. It's a hand-drawn hand -drawn tree, and it's brand new every year. This is a winter ale. It should be, typically it's going to be dark, it's going to be malty, and it's going to have some dark fruits in it. So that being said, let's go ahead and give it a crack. We brought a bottle opener along with us. Because my dentist gets pissed off when I use my teeth to open a bottle these days. We'll give it a pour. As always, if you like your reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments because we love talking about beer. So, got even a little bit left in the bottle here. So it is pitch black. Even I hold it up to the window here, I cannot see anything in it. It's pitch black, like it was an imperial stout. We've got two fingers of nice dark head on it. I would say it is almost brown, more than tan even. Uh, a little bit of lacing on it, not a lot. Nice tight bubbles. Let's do the aroma. I get a little bit of a nutmeg and a little bit of like a dark fruit, like a dark cherry. And then a hint of a something else spicy, almost, I, mean, I want to say slightly peppery. But I said, yeah, definitely like that, like that, like cherry. I'm definitely getting that, so. Let's do the taste. Okay, so it really is, oh wow. I was gonna say, it's really just a, a real classic winter ale. Uh, you get a little bit of a, like a nutmeg spice, like I said up front, and, um, and then, uh, like I said, a little bit of nutmeg spice, you know, winter warmer, there's a whole bunch of beers out there. They're not as um, cinnamon all nutmeggy, all spicy as the pumpkins and the fall ales, but they're got a little, like I said, a little bit of, a, for lack of a better word, a little like eggnog spice in them. Not, not what they taste like, but like a little eggnog spice in it. So I said that when I started to take the first sip and I started to go there, and then the back to, uh, at the back end, the second taste came in, and I got roasted dark malt, almost like a black coffee. It was awesome. So, I did that long roundabout way to try to describe some of what's happening with this beer. So the first taste of it is you get a little bit of nutmeggy allspice going on. Then you get the dark cherry. I didn't mention that in my first thing. And then you get really nice roasted malt. It, um, dark roasted malt, chocolate malt, and I don't know if it's chocolate malt, but that type of malt. Um, a little bit of black coffee. It finishes quite dry. So you get that sticky coating on the tongue, you dry, you want another sip, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, it's really, really good and slightly different than I seem to remember. I seem to remember the last few years have been more on the dark fruit side, the raisins and dates and those kind of things. I get a lot less of that this time and more uh, um, like a black IPA with a roasted malt or a, um, or a stout with a roasted malt. I don't know which one is better. I don't know if either one of them is better. This is a really, really good beer. Solid. You can only get it from November to the beginning of January. So if you want to try it, rush out and try it. Um, yeah, solid beer. Great. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a great beer. 
and I'm dogging it. I'm, I'm, I'm a splitting a hair, even though we have no hair. I'm splitting a hair. Um, I'm, basically, what I'm saying the difference between a B plus and an A. This is a B plus beer. So, until next time, keep drinking.